Hey guys. Um, so, as you can see, of course my desk is a mess. I've been really bad these last couple of weeks about um, not cleaning up before I start my video. But I figure you guys don't mind too, too much. I don't think. I hope not. Because uh, that's just how I craft. I'm a very, very messy crafter. Anywho, I wanted to do a project with you guys in honor of Mother's Day. So, because this video will be up the morning of Mother's Day, I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all of my moms out there. And I mean that in every definition. Whether you are a mom, a stepmom, a foster mom, an aunt, a grandma, um, there's so many definitions of moms out there. A mom to a pet. Because that is still a responsibility. Um, if I've forgotten any type of moms out there, which I'm sure I have, I wrote a whole bunch down in my blog. Um, dads that have to be moms um, for, you know, whatever the situation may be. Um, happy Mother's Day to everybody. Um, so, everybody did the whole, not everybody, but I actually was able to partake in this Tuesday morning craze with the Martha Stewart paints. I had to think of what I was saying. Um, and I just noticed that my glare is really bad. So I have, not that that's helping. Is that making it better? It's really bright in my face, but as long as it's not too bright, bright on my desk, I suppose. Oh, it creates a lot of shadows. Close your eyes, guys. I'm gonna blind you for a second. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. Yeah, I'm still... Well, I don't know how to make it better. See, I'm stuck with my alt light, which is really whitewashing everything. I'm going to go with that's the best angle for right now. Um, anywho, my light bulbs in my ceiling fan completely gone. So, I'm using my alt light for now, which for me works amazing. For everyone else, not so much. My mom and I talk on the video phone, and how many of you all remember seeing the movie Powder? That's what I look like when my mom talks to me on the phone. It's actually pretty funny. So anywho, I grabbed ten of them, and I haven't used four of them. There is the Frost Translucent Metallic. Oh, wait, the names are on the back. Just kidding. Clear. Oh, it's clear? What? It comes out kind of sort of white. Anyways, clear. Champagne. Yellow gold. Brown stone. The ones I'm going to be working with tonight are pink. Mm hmm. Hyacinth. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. Hydrangea purple. Lemon Drop, Cotton Candy, Key Lime, and Pool. And I actually got this idea from Michaels.com, which is awesome. And it's these right here, which of course we're not going to be able to see because it's too bright. If I... Uh, uh, no, I don't know where my camera is. Can you guys kind of sort of see how it says Grandma? Right there? And then on the sides, it's got Jonah's name, Scarlett's name. And on this side, there are oh, Allie and Bree. So there's Grandma. And then this is for Auntie. Hoping you guys can see it. And if I spin it slowly, please don't let me drop this. Because if I drop it, I'll be really upset. Can you guys see that one? That one seems like you can see it a little bit better. So, I have made a grandma, a G Ma, which is my mom, my mom's G Ma. And then all the kids' names are on this side over here. Can you guys kind of sort of see that? A great grandma, and I have to make two aunties. So, Chances are I'm going to make one tonight with you guys and then finish up the other one early tomorrow because we all know how kind of sort of slow I am. But if you guys can see, I put stickers on there. 
and I got these also at Tuesday morning, the larger ones anyway. And they came from Oh, come on now. Operate with me. This set called Design and Print Label Stickers. And it comes with two sheets of stickers and then two sheets of, I guess, testing papers or something. So I use these. And the first time I used them, it was pretty darn frustrated. Um, I couldn't peel it back off. They kept ripping. Sticky residue was left behind. And then I went through and I actually read the site on Michael's and they say, because I didn't know, so I thought it'd be a tip I'd share for everybody in case you didn't know. If you take your stickers and actually apply them to your clothes, just your pants or whatever, your shirt, whatever you're wearing in the moment, just stick it on there a couple times. Just stick it, rub it down, peel it off, stick it, rub it down, peel it off, and then apply it. What a difference that makes. I can't even begin to explain. And then these stickers were recollection stickers that were on clearance a few years ago, so I bought like six of them because for some reason I thought I needed six of them. They're getting used, so you know, not bad, right? So I used these for the kids' names because they were smaller. And oh, I'll show you the cards that I made real quick. So here is our Aunt Shauna's card. I love that. It suits her so well because she's so laid back. And there's grandma's. Well, great grandma's, I should say. To us, it's grandma. To the kids, it's great grandma. And there's our Aunt Becca, which is Jason's sister. And then for Grandma Jerry. Because we both love Starbucks like crazy, so I had to give her the one with the little coffee cup in it. So there's the cards that I made been a little busy the last couple of days. I stopped doing the al not stopped doing the albums, but I put them on hold for a minute. And then I'll show you this. Oops, sorry, that was kind of loud. Can you guys see the zigzags there? That was me testing out the colors. So they're very pretty. The metallics come out amazing. And the one thing I've learned through this process is... I want to take the darker colors, the ones that are, because of course I wasn't paying attention, there's opaque, there's transparent, translucent, and if somebody can give me the difference between transparent and translucent, I would love to know, because I was trying to figure that out, and I didn't get very far. The only thing I've noticed is that the ones that say translucent are the glitter ones, and the ones that say tra transparent are the gloss. And then there's opaque gloss. So I don't, I don't know. But anyways, these two are my darkest colors. These are the ones that show up the most. So as you can see, the blue and the purple. Now, like, here's a pink down here. Or is that yellow? That's the yellow. It's very, very faint. So when I'm trying to get around, like, specific words, like this one here, I want to try to use my darker colors to make that word show up more. With the bigger letters, I can use this, the lighter colors and get away with it. If that makes sense. So, like, see here, I use the purple and the blue just to make sure their names showed up a little bit more. And then the pink transparent, not the glitter, but the pink transparent showed up um, more bold than the glitter one. If that makes sense. I'm hoping that all comes across okay. So, what I do, this is, again, just me. I don't, oh, I need paper towels because I'm going to wipe my fingers a lot. I squirt this on. Nice amount. And then I just start playing. Definitely not a project if you don't like to get paint on your fingers. I don't know how else to do it. This is what's worked for me, so this is what I ran with. But I thought everybody was getting them, and I haven't seen any projects with them yet. And since I'm using them for Mother's Day, you know, why not? Okay, wipe my finger off real quick. And as you can see, I've used quite a bit. Quite a bit. I've had to make six cups. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm just going to drop it. All right. And the little, not little, because this one's actually pretty big. The big dauber thingies that I got were from Martha. They're also Martha Stewart. I actually had to pick these up at Michael's. And um, 
they were on sale, I think 30% off or something like that. And I'm kind of bummed that I bought them already because they had the 30% off today with the coupon. That's all right. That's all right. So, I hope everyone has a fantastic, I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend because the weekend's almost over. And I hope everyone has a fantastic Mother's Day. Let me know what you guys are doing. We're heading over to the aunt and uncle's house doing a pool party. Hanging out and barbecuing over there, which will be nice. I'm usually sitting at home for Mother's Day with my kids because my hubby usually has to work. Oh, and cross your fingers for me, guys. You guys ready? I had the most awesome, weirdest situation ever happen. You guys ready? So, do you guys remember me making that... Oh, this one's kind of clogging. Don't do it. Um, that owl... What is that called? Crocodile stitch backpack for my daughter for her birthday. This is a little while ago. Apparently, her teacher cornered her in the bathroom. Not like in a bad way. Brianna was going to the bathroom. She happened to walk in. She saw the backpack on the floor and waited until Brianna walked out and proceeded to ask her where she bought her backpack. She then explained that I made it. Well, she has now commissioned me to make her one, which is fantastic. But then she mentioned how she would love to do um, a class on how to crochet and make, you know, little things, pot holders, scarves, things like that. And was wondering if next year, for the school year, I would be interested in teaching that class two days a week. And well, since Scarlett is going to school next year, I will no longer have children in the nest. I figured, why not? Be a good opportunity for me to get out of the house for a couple hours out of the you know the week because usually I just stay home. I am such a homebody. I literally do not go to the store ever. So this will be a good way. You know, Scarlett will be at the school that I'll be teaching in. And it'll be a voluntary, voluntary position. Volun voluntary, is that how you say it? You know what I'm saying. You guys follow me. So I think that'd be kind of exciting. I would, you know, do two classes a week, all sorts of different projects. Um, apparently I went with the brain next. I figured we could do something like this, you know, for Mother's Day, Father, because these would be good for Father's Day too, just get dad's favorite color cup or something. Of course, get more bold colors, but I thought this would be really nice for Father's Day. And it doesn't just have to, you know, say words. It could be anything, really. Anything you can put a, you know, get a sticker for, I should say. There's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I'm literally just, the only rhyme and reason I have is the bolder colors going over the smaller letters and again that's just for because of the detail to it after that I'm on my own I'm just kinda spraying it down but I thought how much fun would that be and then I could do like you know the little boxes that Mamie did last year for Christmas was it Christmas Valentine somewhere in there I don't know I watched one of her videos I saw her make the box and I did a whole bunch of them for Christmas Figure, you know, we could bring in CDs that are all tore up and make, you know, ornaments out of them. Bring in some toilet paper rolls. Just have so much fun. And, you know, because not everybody's good at music or good at art or things, you know, the things that um, the schools provide. And they have, like, arts and crafts. But this is a different type of arts and crafts. I'm not making you stick your hand down and make a turkey. You know, we're creating something. Not that you're not, you guys know what I'm saying. Not that I'm not saying you don't create something when you do the turkey, but just something different, I guess. So I thought, how very fun would that be? So she's actually in the process of apparently of talking to the teacher about it. I need to come up with three different projects that I would teach in class. Um, one of our 
aunt is um, actually out of town, so I'm going to borrow her cup and my mother's cup and show them how I made them. And it will explain how I made them and see if this would be something they'd be interested in doing in class. So I just thought, how much fun would that be? That would be so fantastic. And I could teach them like basics on like crocheting and I can't knit so we're not going that far but I could bring some of my punches in and we could sit there for you know a day and punch up a whole bunch of little flowers and the next day we could make them all and play with them and so if you guys have any ideas or suggestions on what to do, it'll probably be 4th through 6th grade. That's the age group I'm looking at. Which 6th grade is like, Brianna's 12 and she's in 6th. So I'm assuming, like what? 7 to 8 to 12-ish, somewhere in there? Something like that? 8 to 12? I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. I was like, hey, I'll go kindergarten all the way up. Whoever wants to be in the class, I'm good with it. I wasn't going to be picky. And actually, I'm going to do one more because I see a spot where it's going to get a little confusing if I don't shove one in there. But I just thought, how much fun would that be? Bring in toilet paper rolls, make those cute little owls that Cheryl just did. Because we can buy cupcake liners. I just thought, how stinking cute. And then we'll go this color, which is the yellow. A little tip with these, don't let them sit. I'm bad. I'm so bad. I got frustrated at one point, and I just stopped. I just stopped everything that I was doing so I wouldn't frustrate myself. And it didn't even dawn on me that my paint was still sitting all over it all over my daubers. Yep. And they dried. They dried that way. It was horrible. So I tried to wash them and I tried to soak them and it wasn't happening. They had already gotten, you know, like that stiff from all the paint on top. So I lucked out and I was able to pull them out, just in case anyone's wondering. I was able to pull them out and flip them over. So that's actually how I wash them now, is I just pull them all the way out. I'm hoping I'm in frame. I'm hoping you guys can see what I'm doing. I just realized how white it is. It's really bad. Is that any better? No, not really. This whole lighting situation is really frustrating me. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what else to do. Like, I have it behind me, but it's still really white. And now it looks all dark and shadowed. And if I stick it straight up in the air, that's still too white. Maybe, I don't know if zooming in will help. It seemed to have helped a little bit last time. Can you guys kind of see what I'm doing? I don't know if that's really helping or not. Sorry, got distracted. Was talking all about the school and stuff. Wasn't even paying attention to my own video. So I'm just going to daub. I need a different color right here. I need something else right there. I think I'm going to go with the green. Wipe my finger up real quick. There's that one, and then slip this over. Close that one. Sorry, once I start getting down to the end, I start confusing myself a little bit about where I'm going, where I'm putting colors. Now, one thing they do recommend is that you do not put any of the paint up towards the top of the cup. There are instructions 
on how you can bake it to make it permanent quicker, or you can let it cure for 21 days. Chances are, I'm gonna, yeah, I shouldn't say that, because I know me, and if I have to get near a stove, I'm gonna get nervous and my husband won't be here to rescue me, so chances are, I am not baking these. I will just let them know they are decoration for the next month, and after that month, you can use them. And I'm going to pounce this on a couple times. Now this one comes out really light, but it's really pretty. Okay. Now I'm just going to go through and fill a couple little spots if I can. Oh, I feel like I'm running out of them already, and it's kind of making me panic. Although I can feel they're still really heavy, so I haven't actually run out. It's just getting harder to squeeze them. So it doesn't actually take a lot. At least I don't think. It might take more than I think it does, but... And there's probably an easier way to do all this, of course, because we all know me. I love doing things difficult. And you guys will see what I mean by that in the next section of what I'm getting ready to do. So it's such a light color, I'm just kind of pouncing. Give it a little more dimension. Okay, I'm gonna call this one good. Okay. regular basis I would run to my sink right now and drop those in and start cleaning them which give me two seconds I'm gonna go do that I'm just gonna pull and see here's what I'm talking about they just pull right out see that so I'm just gonna pull these out she can't screw them up see how the paint is stuck yeah couldn't get it off got it off on some I'm gonna pull these out real quick I'm gonna run my hot water I wish I could pause, but I don't know how, so two seconds, I'll be right back. Well, don't count to two, because it's going to be longer than that. You know what I'm saying. Hold on. Okay. Hopefully that wasn't too long. You ever notice that hot water takes forever when you're in a hurry? So just throw them in a bowl. And I just start squeezing. 
There's a li like literally one drop of Dawn in there. It's all yucky, and but they'll come out nice and pretty, unlike my other side, which didn't make it. <laughs> nope, not that side. This side. So I just thought I'd show you guys how I clean them. I don't know if it's the right way, but it's the way I do it. And then I would dump all this back into my trying to make, oh, see, I knew that was going to happen. All good. Now here's my other thing. I'm racing against the clock on that because according to the website, you want to peel them up while they're still wet, while the paint is still wet. Now, here's the only issue I've had. They used gigantic stickers, which is fantastic. That's awesome for them. I could not find the gigantic, ginormous stickers, except for the ones that I found, but they're very slick. I don't know how else to describe it other than they're very slick. So I'll just stack those up until I'm ready to put my other ones back in. What I have been doing is taking an X-Acto knife very carefully because we all know how klutzy I am. And I have been going through I'm cutting out, just softly, cutting out my letters. I'm not trying to scratch the paint, I'm just trying to break the seal around the letter and the paint that got daubed around it. That's it. I'll lift that up. And sometimes your little See how the little sticker piece on the inside of the E is missing? That's all right. I'll just go back and paint that in later. I'll pick that up. Use the back of that. So I have something to stick them to. Because I just went through and chopped all my nails off. Of course. See, I didn't cut right there, so it's picking up the paint. And I don't want to do that. I want the paint to stay on. Because believe it or not, I tried this when it was dry, and it was, like, way harder. It's so frustrating. So, like I said, I went back onto michaels.com, and I read the full instructions, and that's when they said pick it up when it's still wet. And I went, oh! Then I went to pick it up while it was wet, and it was, like, the whole spot was coming up with it, so I was getting mad about that. Cut that piece all the way, stick it down. So then I thought, exact don't I? I'd be really careful because I'm kind of a klutz, but I think I can do it. It's been working out pretty good. Can you guys see that so far? Kind of sort of, oh, it's all still sticky. I hope you guys, I'm I'm trying to look in my camera and see where I'm cutting at the same time, but I'm trying not to, you know, accidentally slice my finger open or anything. Because that would mean not, not be a nice Mother's Day present to me. Okay. Hubby was so sweet. He came home with a bouquet of flowers and a Mother's Day card. It was so nice. I was like, you're early. He's like, I know because he works tomorrow. So like I said, just going around my letters, trying to draw like I would with a pen. I don't know why, but I feel like I have more control when I do that. 
little piece doesn't want to stay down. So if I can get it to stay down, I will, and if not, then I don't worry about it too much because I can paint that in later. Yeah, that's not sticking down. That's all right. So I got to fix the A, the E, the B did good. Let's do the H. I'm so sorry that you guys can't see this. I feel bad. I need to figure out how much it's going to cost me to get those light bulbs. They're like the chandelier light bulbs. You guys know what I'm talking about? They're like really itty bitty on one side, and then they fatten up in the middle, and then it comes to a point on the tip of the bulb. And I need like six of them for some reason. I could just get one of those fluorescent bulbs and stick it in there. I don't think that'll work. So I have those. I just don't think they have the right, um, whatever that thing's called, you know, the part that screws into the, the actual socket. Can I see that at all? I hope so. I feel bad, and I can't really watch my screen as I'm cutting because I'm looking to my left instead of in front of me and I'm so terrified I'm gonna cut my face apart or something because that would be my luck. It would slide it and slice my nose. I've done that before, that's the only reason why I say it. So yeah, if anybody has tips or tricks on this, let me know because this was the best way I could figure out how to do it. I was talking to Kimmy about it. And Kimmy was like, if it's working, go for it. So I did. Okay. I don't want a little buddy. Now see, this is the part, of course, I wouldn't let the students do. But I wouldn't let them have the itty-bitty letters either. You know, because their cups would just say mom, dad, aunt. And the only reason why mine says Gma on it is because I tried to put grandma on there with the big old letters and it was too big. I couldn't fit the M on there. So I switched it to GMA. And then I found smaller stickers. I actually think I used this set. I just used um, the capital letters instead and spelled out grandma that way. But I mean, there's thickers and things like that that I can use. There's all sorts of different stickers. And now that I know the trick of putting them on my clothes first, because if you guys would have seen me in the very first cup I was doing, I was cursing a lot. I was pretty upset. Couldn't get the stickers to come up. They kept tearing as I was trying to pick them up. I told my mom I'm sorry. She got the tester cup. She's like, it's okay. I don't mind. Thank goodness for that, because yours looks pretty bad. <laughs> She's like, it's okay. My mom's le uh, legally blind in her right eye. She's like, it's okay, I can't see it anyway. I'm like, thanks, Mom. Well, I can see the colors. Okay. She cracks me up. She's so excited about moving out here. So excited. I think this is the first time since my mom since I have been alive, that my mom and I are actually excited to be in the same state. Is that really bad to say just before Mother's Day? I love her to pieces, I do. But we, like I've said before, we've had a love-hate relationship. I'm just glad that we're finally 
you know, at the phase in our life where we are growing together instead of away from each other. You know, I was kind of upset that she was moving all the way out to Florida, but I think, honestly, the distance did us some good. We have built a relationship that we've never had before, which is amazing, because I never thought I would have this kind of relationship with my mom. So, all right, now the big letters. Big letters are way easier. Slice and dice. Except for the circles. And again, all I'm trying to do is break the seal between the sticker and the glue. Or, I mean, the paint. The glue. That's it. That's all I'm trying to do. Let me see if I can, because I'm leaning it towards me so I can see it. I want to make sure you guys can see it too. Oh yeah. This is way easier than what I was dealing with earlier. Oh yeah. I'm so excited. Yay. See, there we go. All right, that can be stuck there. There's a little sticky residue right there, which isn't bad. See, that would have come up in about 10 pieces before I realized the fabric trick. They tell you to use fabric. They don't tell you to use your shirt, but I figured, hey, it was available, so I used it, and it works. And it takes the lint off my shirt at the same time. Two birds, one stone. Go me. I haven't even looked at the clock. How long has this been? Oh, 37 minutes. Not too insanely bad, right? Oh, see, I started talking. Now I don't know where I cut it. Did I cut this already? I think so. Okay. Try to look this up. Oh, that's so amazing. Just like the back part of the sticker was peeling off before, and oh, it was just such a battle. I'm so glad I'm not one to throw things, because I probably would have thrown the first cup, and then I would have gotten upset that I threw the first cup, you know? got defeated by a project that's just messed up. Let's not slice my fingers. Alright. Oh, don't do it. I'm thinking for Father's Day I want to do like black ones. Or like figure out what Dad's favorite team is. I think that would be cool. Oh, awesome sauce. Look at that. Bam! Now unfortunately I can't reuse them. But that's okay. So, anyways, back to what I was saying earlier. I'm hoping that, I'm kind of hoping it all goes through, but at the same time, I'm like really, really nervous about it. You know, here I am complaining about my kids every day, and I gotta go work with everybody else's kids. But the nice thing is I get to hand them back. And it's only for, I don't even know how long it would be, probably like 30 minutes, an hour maybe. I don't know if it would be an after-school program, or if it would be, um you know, during the school day. I don't know how it would all work out. But she was talking about, you know, going to the principal and seeing if there's um, any grants that they can work up to get me started on supplies and things like that. I just thought, oh my goodness, how awesome would that be to do what I love and teach it to children at a younger age so that they can, you know, express themselves and do things differently outside the box, creativity wise. Because, you know, everyone's made the turkey out of the plate and the handprint, and the, you know what I mean? That's what I meant by the 
turkey with the handprint. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but everybody's done it. And you do it almost every year when you're in elementary school. Or to even take like clay pots and put tissue on them. Because I think Mod Podging is fun. And I didn't know about it as a kid. I mean, heck, I didn't know about it until about a year ago. Not that that says much, because, you know, I'm still learning all this crap stuff. But to see a whole bunch of kids get their creative wheels going, that just sounds extremely exciting to me. My girls are always making up stuff. And, oh, this broke, so this is what I turned it into. You know, always learning how to recycle and upcycling things. So, I hope you guys are prepared, because if it does happen and it all works out, I'm definitely going to need suggestions. I'm probably going to have a couple venting sessions. But, there it is. Bam! Antsy. See it? Now see that one took me 45 minutes to do between cleaning and sticking it all down, peeling it all back up. I'm sorry, I'm trying to put my hand there so you guys can see like the kids' names. And it's still a little bit sticky, but it's not bad. And I totally just messed up that part, but that's okay. She'll never know. Unless she watches this video and then, oops. But which aunt got the cup? Bam, that's the question. Okay, so I have my next one all stickered out, ready to go. I just got to um, dry these off and then start going. So I don't know if anybody else bought Martha Stewart paints, but that's what I did with mine, at least for this round anyway. I don't know what I'm going to do with them next. I'm going to get back to my mini albums because those have got to get finished. And then... I'm already trying to figure out what I'm doing next week. See, here's the thing that scares me. Last week, I ran out of ideas. I didn't know what else to do for my YouTube. And that's once a week. So how am I supposed to figure out what I'm doing for, you know, let's just say 10 kids. Because I don't know how many are going to sign up for the actual class. 10 kids and i got to do it twice a week. Mm, I don't know how it's going to go. Because I give teachers a lot of respect. Man, they do not, number one, they do not have an easy job. They're putting up with children that are not theirs. Which means you have all sorts of different parenting skills. Um, not that that's bad. But not that it's good either. You know what I mean? Not everybody teaches their children the same thing. Um, and that's okay. We need diversity. But um, yeah, I had a whole thought process that was coming with that. And I totally forgot what it was. I got too distracted by looking for my these thingies, tweezers. Um, oh, but I mean to have a game plan like every week. And how do you teach that one student that gets too distracted or, you know, because I mean these teachers build a, a bond with their students. And I don't know, I think it takes a very, very special person to be a teacher or a nurse or, you know, the people who seem to go unappreciated the most. And they do their jobs because they love them. They love what they do. And I just, I give them a lot of kudos and credit because I don't know if I could do it. I don't think I could do it. I really don't. So, anywho, that's a whole nother appreciation type day. Well, it's also like teacher appreciation week, so that's another reason why I was thinking about that. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've been doing with my paints, guys. So, what have you guys been doing with them? Have any of you guys bought them? What have you done with them? Have you worked with them yet? Do you like them? What are we doing with them? I want to see what everybody else has come up with. So, anywho, 
That's my Mother's Day cup, my auntie cup, and my grandma cups. That's what we're working on. And I'm going to finish that this one up tonight. Cards are all filled out and ready to go. And uh, I think I'm going to stop by, you know, a store on the way out there and put some chocolates or something inside. And Nice Christmas, or Christmas. Oh my jeez, Jabbers, really? Shh, you didn't hear me say that. Because I don't even want to think about Christmas right now. Mother's Day. Mother's Day gifts. I want to roll. Okay. So I hope you guys, again, um, have a fantastic uh, Mother's Day. Even if you gents out there, say, call your mom. Spend the day with her. Let her know you love her. No matter how old you are, you still appreciate her. Because, um, you know, as moms, we need to hear that too. So... I don't want to forget my gentlemen out there that watch my my channel. Go spend the day with your moms. Give them a hug and a kiss. So, again, I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic Mother's Day, however you choose to spend it. And um, I will see you guys next week. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.